Alrighty, gonna be finishing up Pokemon Violet, hopefully. With any luck, this will finally be it. Let's see. I did some grinding. So let's see. Gonna get a rematch now. Match against Arvin first. Where is he at? I actually don't think I have that brown whooper. I just want the rematch. Excellent, you're ready too, right? Mobile Stiff. Yeah, Mobile Stiff says he's ready. Wait, are you sure about this? Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here burnt him with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long, I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if we always lost to that student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. We're brand new, Arvin and Mobile Stiff, and we're feeding audacious, feeling audacious, and maybe her herbaceous. Let me give you a taste of what we can do. We ready. The Pokemon that I met during our- oh jeez, okay. This time I'm ready. I might even be able to beat him easily. Nope. Oh jeez, a crit still does a lot. Also I- Fun fact, I took my starter on my team. I kind of prefer Shari. Acting at the ace. Oh, I forgot he had that. I still trust Roger. I think he had it regardless. Toad crew. I still don't know what type that is. I would imagine grass. Yeah, I would say grass.
No, that's time for sure. I'm way more than ready. Go Valley. I, no, I know what that is. Jeez, why don't I remember what that is? I'll stay in because I don't remember. Oh, it's Roger. I knew I knew what that was. Now I'm mobile stiff. I'll send it Edna. I decided to keep Edna on the team because it's still uh, one of my favorites of this region. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow up. Time to terrestrialize mobile stiff. Yeah, one shot. We were so close, mobile. They're so close, but Ozo, thanks, little buddy. He gave me a lot of money. Dang, this isn't the strength of someone who could take down the, those Titan Pokemons, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think you were going to need some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are uh, all sorts of weird machines there, too. I say we need at least two more people, somebody with the champion rank level skill, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Maybe Nimona? The student council girl? Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job, but I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level, as in champion rank level. But well, we've gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think could be of help, just try and get getting in good with them. We'll see if we can get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do. I didn't get to read the rest of it. Whatever. So basically, now I gotta talk to Nemona. And I've cleared the path of legends. Wait, what's next then? I know I gotta do Nimona thing, but what was the other? Oh wait, I gotta be... Nimona thing will be last. I'm gonna fight the professor next. Payback. His, the fight with the professor, I actually felt like I was close to beating him last night. Alright, I think I'm good with the team. Sup, Ozone. Clive? Yep, that's my name. Actually, no, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Uva Academy, Mr. Clavel. No way. Yeah, this must be quite a shock. My disguise was perfect after all. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassopia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. 
See, that actually blew my mind. For real? Honest to goodness. When you heard Casopia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded vo voice. I pulled it off using, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yeah, it was very clever. So, Mentor Azo, now that you know I'm the big boss, that means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in a one final showdown to decide it all. I thought it was Penny for sure. I think his is a normal type. I am Casopia of Team Star with Dim Battle. I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Yes, it's not. A, it's a normal type, I think. This time I'm ready. This is my favorite Pokemon of Sun and Moon. I think it is. Oh, I forgot to nickname it. Yeah. I should have gotten a female. I usually like having Toxapec as a female. That's actually what I, the gender I got it the first time, so. But it's fine. That is Steel Ghost, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, well, it critted anyway. Oh, stick with Ch Chari. Amongus. Mm. I'll let Thor finish this. To think that I guess Helpia would be backed into a corner like this. A quabble? Very well, it seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. It also I also had forgotten that he actually had gotten the third starter. But I I knew that, I just forgot. How strong you have grown. They be giving me real money. I wish I had the amulet coin. Well now, Master Ozone. 
It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassopi. I knew it, though Clive and myself being the same person with no lie, mind you. Cassopi's true identity remains hidden, but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. This is why I thought sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrow should not be yours to bear. However, Cassopia has settled on, of course, of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you in battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassopia. Such, as, such was my resolve. But it turns out that you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance to s at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shamed me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please defeat Cat Zopia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Yes, sir. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hand. I wonder why. Let's see if I can fix it. Everything else should be fine. this thank you okay you there what do you think you're doing miss time I pleasure to see you it's no pleasure at all mr. Clavel I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school ground and what do I find why the director of the Academy himself facing off against one of our students no less what were you thinking Oh no, if I could just explain, you see, it is a rather sad tale. Bear me, your excuse reek worse than a stunky behind. Stunky's behind? Remember the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark? I am counting on you, Master Ozo. You'll write a letter of apology to the student and faculty at once, and I'll re be reporting them to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no anything but that. I implore you. Oh wow. I haven't met that lady yet. Let's try it. Is actually. Oh wait, was I supposed to go into the school? I think I messed up. Oh wait, yeah, I am supposed to go into the school. No. The map is showing over here. P 
PC next to the secretary? Oh, it's the same thing. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Ozone. Thanks for coming. Is it still? It might be quite a shock for you. The big boss Casopia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside the school at that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use it to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on, I just can't roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown, are you ready? I'm ready. Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology missed time had me. I mean, preparation took longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after, no I mean, in that you Casopia. In the flesh, I attack for you Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happened next so that I can send the video to Team Star. They'll need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star, the name Casopia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star Founder. I won't hold back the battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Uh Oh shoot, I didn't check what level he was. Oh. Does he use all the Eevee forms? I just noticed. He has an Eevee backpack and he used an Embryon and now he's using Flareon. And I'm assuming they're all level 62? Oh, jeez. I probably didn't have to do that, but I still wanted to. Yeah, well. Yeah, using all Eevees. Are you sure? 
It looks fine from my end. Normally I see it too. I'm gonna have to check out why. I don't like that kind of breaking through. I knew Thor could do it. Leafeon. I wonder if Espeon's in last one. Or is it just regular Eevee? Oh, it's Sylveon. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hand. Time to tear until lies shine bright like the starry sky and become one who you really want to be. Oh, hopefully it stays fairy. Uh, I don't know. It survived. All oh, right, lame. It's all over now. It's finally over guys, it's done. We're done here, I think we should call it quits. Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with the Operation Star and now everything gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning um, some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention to the Battletooth and nail 
should the villain persist in their tyrannous oppression. There was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just bl blubbered and apologized the whole lot. Our outfit must have spooked them good. But the boys made a huge sink about what went down. And then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plans backfired especially epically. There's no way we're going to get off scot-free. I guess you're right. That little stunt might have put us up a cr the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you in all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. A noble and kind big boss. You cannot. Oh, noble. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh, yeah. Well, and what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we met never met in person you were all so kind to me stop right there bb why are you talking like we'll never speak again i need to go take care of some things pretty pretty speak to us what is thine intent hey big boss answer us bye bye guys thanks for everything Thanks for everything, Ozone, and you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I, I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. All that thought, Miss Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the boss that we were done once before, but they didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our coach states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to expand. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. That's the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassopia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends and team in the team mean to you? They're they're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for appraising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with. The old geezer act, Clive, you're creeping me out. Indeed, well then, before we talk f further, allow me to reveal to you my secret, my own secret identity. Director Clavel? Jethek Kasopia was your guy, the boy you knew at Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to be shy from speaking their mind to their teachers after all, much more so when they face with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about the that wig. Oh, I gotta check out my dog real quick.
Okay, back. Oh, well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Such a shocked face. Huh? Yo, big boss, long time no see. Momo? More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily in thy long hidden contentance. Man, this guy is. Can he talk normal? So I heard your real name, Penny. How, how have you been this whole time? Orty. We found you at last. You no longer. You have no idea how we've worried about. You bit ah, dang it. They really probably should have been voice acted. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As Director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I don't... I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reason for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as Director, I have all, ever experienced of the Academy is an... In, all I have ever experienced of the academy is the, an environment blessedly free from bullying. But now I know this piece was built on backs of your hurt and anger and of course your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. This academy's order for Team Star to defend it and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Doesn't that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Ooh, Penny, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart and giddy with glee. But I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us about. Far as we heard, you only went through it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we were ever chucked the team just cause someone told them to after all ain't our style I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us lady penny sorry for making you worry BB we're all okay now but even so hold on everyone I have more to say I've, I've previously stated the requirement for team star to defend have been revoked however there's still some unsettled matter to discuss allow me to provide a few examples your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniform, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardized, jeopardous driving a Pokemon powered vehicle. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you will be required to engage in community service. Community service. Yes, specifically, I will act you, be asking you to manage the FTC and the stands for Star Training Center. They shall be facility for cultivating Pokemon trainer talent. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Ozone battling and way through your bases. The basic, the basis constructions as well as the battle tactics employed by the students of in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activity, but henceforth as FTC staff members using your former bases at training facilities. And that sums it up, some of it. Does anyone have any concern? Uh, no, it sounds like fun, so I don't see how it'd be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the FTC are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. This true, we would be most happily have you at our side my lady we can go to school together too that way if anything happens we'll be 
there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and goals in our lives. That'd be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. Ozone, what do you think? Give it your best. But I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it time to leave. Master Ozone, please stop by my office later if you would. Am I in my room? I haven't been in here since I started. Get outside. Oh wait, I still have to talk to the professor. Where would he even be at? Oh wait, director's office. He's the director, I think. Uh, here you are, Master Ozone. I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous, grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Um, uh, Miss Penny, do you come in? Hello, Director. About the FTC, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall. I got a hold of it. it some of it illegally by hacking the Pokemon League LP management system. Ah, I see that is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that. I mean, it, I'm really sorry I won't do it again. This matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Mikita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how to best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Ozone, but I will have to ask you to give me give us some privacy. So I came here just to leave. I'm assuming I can leave now. Ozone. Penny? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we met for met? I'll be waiting. Did we meet by the stairs? Yeah, yeah, we did. Like right here, actually. You can get she was getting bullied. Or was it down here? I don't remember. Hasta la vista. The six of us thought up that cash frame back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going down a big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. That's great. The Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently, I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I've never seemed to find the right word, but um, thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. 
I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Oh, sweet. Draco meat. Although, I don't think I could use it. I'm sure you'll put it to good. Not really. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Ozo. Be seeing you. Then, hasta la vista. Man, then there's... Oh, look at how they just popped up. Now there's just one thing left to do. Do I buy the items here or the actual? It still baffles me that there's no victory road. Hello, Ozone. So that's is this is it. You decided to face the Pokemon League. The final ten you must pass to become a champion. It's held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Ozone. I look forward to meeting you again soon. I'm up in your face. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League Champion Assessment? Let's see here. Ozone from Uva Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of 8 gym badges. Very well, you may now proceed to the interview room. Ooh, we're finally here. Oh my goodness, this is an actual interview. This is not good. What is this? Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. Oh my goodness, no. Irika will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We will begin with the interview. First thing first, let's see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Ozone. Please think carefully as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answer. Let's begin. How did you get here today? Came by flying taxi. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Uva Academy? Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? Came to become champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if you, when you become champion? I want to battle Nemona. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Oh my goodness. I don't remember them by name. Don't know. I don't know any. I think this is the ice one. I don't actually remember. I don't think I struggled against the gym, did I? I'm just gonna go with the. I'm just gonna give him a random answer because I really don't. I struggled more with the freaking team team star. I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you fit? Oh my goodness! This is a trick question. I don't know their names. Oh my goodness. I'm 
assuming these are all the gym leader, but I don't know which one I was the ice one. Tulip? I see. That concludes this interview. One of the staff will let you know the result. Thanks to you again. Now, please excuse me. Oh, please don't tell me I failed. How'd that happen? Sorry to keep you waiting, Ozone. Now, regarding the results of your interview portion of your champion assessment, I'm sorry to say you didn't pass. Dang. Oh, this is lame. I have to keep answering the questions until I get it right. Why would you ever have to remember the gym leader's names? They should at least put pictures. Yeah, yeah, let's get on with this. I'm be at this for a minute. Hopefully they're not all questions. I don't even know if this is a bad answer. I just assume you wouldn't want to lie. I'll just give her the answer that I think she would want to hear. Try something else. I failed the last time. I don't even know how these questions would make me fail. This I, I can see this would be, but I don't even remember any of their names. Oh, wait, I think this one is the electric gym. That was the last one I faced, and her name was Iono, I think. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. That was an easy one. Building the skills needed for a champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get Hero Zone. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? The Fire Croc Pokemon. Very good, very good. Okay, so that was the trick question. Now please forgive me, I am going to repeat the previous quest. Oh no. I want to become even stronger. Yes, that's right. Next is the final question for this interview. Do you like Pokemon Ozone? Yes. Good job, kiddo. Oh, thank goodness. Qu kill, it, qu kill it with the suspense already. That's all that wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you, Ozone. You just passed the first part of the champion's assessment. Honestly, I don't know why you didn't... Bu why you bungled it before. Oh, oh wait, she knew? She They, they, they have a response if you fail it the first time? But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment, what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon Battle. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best league has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go to into the room behind me. Yeah, I'm gonna save it because I ain't doing that again.
Cheat the first? Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. What type did she use? Oh yes, I have the perfect... I finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give up too soon. That was such an easy one for Roger. Oh, he, she using ground types then. Thirty. All oh, right, mine's a fire type. Wow, Doug Trio is fast if it got that off. Or Roger just slow. Okay, yeah, now I gotta switch. I forgot to chain Toxapex's name. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's still a ground type. Impressive, you really are something else, kiddo. Claude Sire? Isn't the evolved form of Whooper? Let's finish it. Go on, Claude Sire. Shake things up a bit. Oh, wait. She's gonna... Yeah, of course she's gonna. That looks like a Mario villain. I knew Roger could do it. Not bad, kiddo. There's an outbreak somewhere? Talk about unfair. No way was I ever gonna win that one. Still though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test. So, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you may might be one of the few that do ozone. Better stay on your toes though, the second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt, come on out. Coming. Really? Wow, did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side, avenge me if you can. You bet I will.
Now I'll heal. Just because I like my Pokemon being in peak when I'm fighting some. What? What? What did I use? Uh, I don't know what this person is gonna use. So, are you ready to face Poppy of the Elite Four, or is it Poopy? I'm pretty sure it's Poppy. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye bye, Mister. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll be bounced right off. You'll see. Can't wait to. For you to meet my friends, so here they come. Steel types. Go on, Rajas. Smush them. Smush them? Smush. Depending on what she uses, Thor might be able to take them all. Uh, no, that's a psychic type. Yeah, we'll stay with uh, Shari. This is the first Corviknight I've seen the entire playthrough. That's what she meant by bounce off because they're steel type. Okay. I didn't really need that, but whatever. Oh, I have that too. Uh, I actually don't know what I should. Maybe Tox. I forgot to change her name again. I'll do it after this fight. I'm not scared. My last Pokemon will turn things around. Oh, wait. She's gonna tear the lies that Tinka Tonk. That's also like one of my favorite Pokemon of the new region. She's gonna go for the attack, so. It's time to get dressed all up all pretty, Tinky. That's a giant axe. That is so dope. Steal hard Pokemon always get solid victory, so I'm gonna win. It's not affected by poison?
Should I switch though now? Okay, it's super affected by fighting for some reason. Ah, that's nothing. I don't want to lose Toxapex though. Yeah. That was a critical hit. Uh, I can't read all that. I wanted to take revenge on you, Rika. Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Quirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost Papi. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. It's your turn, Mr. Larry. Wait, the suitcase guy? I thought he was a gym leader. Hello there, it's me, Larry. Isn't this guy the gym leader? Toxie. And the only Pokemon I heal is. Want them all to be in peak condition. The time I use Edna. Are you ready to face Larry of the Elite Four? So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I, norm I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use a different type here. So if you, you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. Wait then, what type are you using now? Anyway, time to get to work. Oh? Larry of the Elite Four. I can't tell if grass are flying. Oh wait, but I started with Edna. Well, I'll be trying my hands with flying type Pokemon this time. He just gave it away. Okay. Oh, that is not good. In that case, I don't even want to switch out. Oh, I misclicked. Now you took a hit. Rage Fish should do more. Star Raptor has uh, that one ability. Uh, intimidate. Do I want to stay in? Not really. 
I'll switch into taxi. Oh, I missed click again. I did more than I expected. Oh, taxi. Okay, this one I think I could send in Thor. Wait, why is that not super effective? I don't understand. It's a flying type. Oh, it don't matter now. And Tinka. Yeah. Flamigo? What is Flamigo? I'm assuming a flying type. I'm gonna switch it over to a flying type anyway. You're even stronger than before. Guess I don't get a break today. Oh! At the risk of messing up my suit, it's time to get some wind at our back. What does this one look like when it... Bloons? We win! Well, that took the wind from under our wings. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder La Primera likes you. Now then I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. Now where could he be? Don't think he'd heard you, Larry? Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Hassel. Hassel, you're up next. Oh, I forgot all about him. His name is Hassel? Hello there, Ozone. It, deli it delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again.
Now I don't know what he's gonna use, but I gotta heal Toxie at least. Hassle of the Elite Four. I was, of course, absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young Sprout truly do grow with astounding speed, yes. But I never for a moment imagined we would be facing each other so soon. Now, the teacher duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. And wield all my. Oh! Alright. Oh.
Sorry about that. I am Hassel the Dragon guarding the final fortress of the Elite Test. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fiery breath of ferocious battle feel. He kind of gave himself away. I think he used dragons. Oh, jeez. I made the wrong choice picking Roger. Show me everything you got. I shall face you with all my strength. I was going to switch out Roger, but oh my goodness, that did a lot. Well, this is not looking good for Roger. Dragalga? I think that's Poison Dragon. Oh wow. Oh, we fine. I was going to switch out, but if it's Haxorus, Tinka got this. Oh, we miss. Flapple. I actually wanted to catch a Flapple. I didn't end up doing it because I couldn't find an Appleton. Box Caliber? Box Caliber? Only a little more until you pass. Don't let up. This is dope! Why didn't I find one of those? Come, oh great dragon, and take the Terra Jewel as your crown. Wait. Okay, no, that didn't. I thought that was gonna be like my weakness. Bax Caliber. The mighty dragon has been felled. You really did it. Oh wow. Huh. Wonderful. I'm just so proud of you. Oh, don't cry Grandpa Hassel. There, there's one a hug. Sorry about all this ozone. The old man can get like this sometimes. Like that. What I do. I just so overwhelmed. Guess I got to do the talking. Anyway, your result for the elite test of the champion assessment is... 
A path, no doubt about it. Yeah, you're tougher than steel. Yep. You did so beautifully. Congratulations. I say you're good to go, but there's actually a wee bit more to the champion assessment. That'll be your final trial. See the door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong arm all of us to joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I think you do, you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose your he you here. Oh! I guess I didn't need healing items. I really love your Pokemon, Mister. So I'll cheer for you as hard as I can. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire. Well, guess you got over your sobs, huh? You can do this. We all know you can. Now go, young Ozone. Your hand may be small, but let them seize a great victory. Yeah, respect. He stepped aside. I don't know what she's going to use. Uh... I will start with trusty... No. Actually, I really don't know. I'm gonna start with Thor. Now my older one's barking. Welcome, Ozone. It gave me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of po the Pokemon League. The final tenth to battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for a League chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why nobody passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful like Champion Nimona did. So are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. The finale. Wait, then the electric flying type thingy? I do hope you can defeat me and become champion yourself. Oh, this is maybe not so good. Oh, we're fine. And I was worried. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Toxy should have this. Oh, it knew that move. Ah, uh, what's the matter? You're not one to let something so significant fluster you. Yes, that was a correct decision in this situation. Please continue. And... I don't think she's gonna heal, so... Oh, jeez.
Roxy got this, even if she goes for a healing item. Although I've noted that none of them have healed at all. Oh, jeez. Avalug. Edna. Avalug is bulky, so even Edna might not be able to finish this in one attack. And that was without a sturdy. That's crazy. But now, Edna does more damage. Well, with Rage Fist, I guess. King Cup, King Gambit? I don't know that Pokemon. I'll let Thor have a shot. Supreme Overlord? This is the evolved form of, uh, Bisharp, if I'm not mistaken. Veluza. That is a fish. She's down to her last one. What is her last one? Glimora? I don't know this one at all. I'm gonna go ahead and let Tinka try. Don't think you've won just yet. Yeah, I don't know that Pokemon at all. You got ton hammer? Be the light of the guide to all trainer Glimora. I don't even know the type. What typing is that? It's super affected by steel, that's all I need to know. Toxic debris. That would be a handy ability if I didn't luck out with that attack. You go beyond my imagination so easily. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Paldia had gained another wonderful trainer to be a proud of. Congratulations, it's my honor to call you champion Ozone. Congratulations is right, now I can really say you're good to go. Yay, you did it, Matt. Mister. Congratulations. Just abrazing. Abazing. I can't. I can't hold it in me anymore. I'm oh, crying again. Your po you Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldia. And I meant that trainer. Champions are the jewel that shines brightest. Champion Ozone. 
It is now your duty to set an example for all of the trainers of Paldea. Now allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. It's kind of weird that there's still stuff after the champion battle. Ozone, ozone. Oh man, I can just tell by looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion. Yep. I knew it all along. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Ozone, I'm a champion and now you're a champion. Which means we're true equals, you and me, both champion ranked trainers. This is amazing. Now that you've made it here, I got one thing to say. Let me, let you and me be best rival for life. Yeah. Yeah, toma ya. Alright, you know what rivals do battle their absolute heart to. I'm gonna hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, Champion Nimon. Uh, what's the matter, Primera? The Champion assessment has only just ended. I believe a rest is in order for Champion Ozone, Paul Mott, and the others. Champions must be understanding towards their opponents. Uh, right. Then, uh, there I go getting overexcited again. Sorry, Ozone and Paul Mott. I also must ask, this is, is this roadside really the setting you two want for your first battles as true equals and rivals? Now that you mention it, that's a good point. In that case, we, can we use the Pokemon League Battle Court? Sure. That's somewhere more fitting. A place with special meaning for the two of you, perhaps. Special meaning. Hmm, let's see. Anywhere leave to mine, Ozone? I don't even know. Nowhere as it goes is I'm assuming the Academy. I'll say out behind your house. Our beach out back. Yeah, the place where we had our first battle might work. But on the other hand, it's just kind of my backyard, you know, a little ordinary. Any place else come to mind? Mesa Goza? Oh, good call. The place where we set out on our journey. That reminds me, Ozone. Remember back when Director Clavo explained the treasure hunt? You know how he told us to go in search of our treasure? Our own treasure? Well, I know what treasure I got out of this. I found a true rival, someone who can stand up to me at my full capabilities. That's right, I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Ozo. Anyway, that being said, I'll be waiting for you at the battle court in Mesa Goza, Sandro Plaza. See you there. The respect you two share is palpable, even a bit enviable to be honest. I am known as La Primera, but when facing me in the final test of her champion assessment, champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. In you, I suspect she found someone she can battle without holding ba anything back. So I got one more battle. Right back.
Alright, sorry about that. My dog actually has a really bad habit of barking when my br brother goes up the stairs. I actually haven't healed my team. I should do that. But I won't need... And I think I'll start with Thor as well. Any second now. There you are, Ozone. You're ready for the battle between champions? Because all these folks seem here ready to watch. Word got around, I guess. And out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. The stage is set. It's my all out power versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. Champion Nimona. Oh yeah, yeah, we're fine. Finally, the things I've waited f all this time for. Time to begin our greatest battle of all. Do you think I help teach your? Tight matchups. Now you're using them to, to hurt. Ah, uh, ding. So many words. Earthworm. Uh, I don't know. I would assume. Roger? Oh, but Roger for fire type. I always forget that. Wait, it's not a ground type? What type is that? Even How do you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good to finally let loose. I don't know what typing that thing is. Okay, defense fell though. I better be careful. Oh. Poison at no effect. It's part of steel, I would take it then. Uh oh. Another defense drop. Come on, survive it, Toxie. Not gonna risk Toxie. I'll send in Edna. It's steel. I don't know if it's anything else, but definitely steel. Palmot 
and that is Thor, so... I'm actually good with Edna. And I could actually use Thomping Tantrum. I did not expect it to survive that. A critical hit, a critical moment, that goes beyond luck. You got some kind of gift. Dun Dun Sparse? I don't know what typing that is. I'll stick with Edna. Oh, it's normal, I take it. Gudra. Now it's Tinka's turn. Oh no, Tinka missed. And we are at the finale. Meows Garada. So I'll send in Shari. It's all down to my last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we've got. I'll finish it with the Terrestrial Eyes or whatever. Shine Blazing Bright, my greatest treasure. Blazing Lead Bright. Yeah, we win. You, you did it. This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Ozone. I mean, you knocked me flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... Oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for the real this time. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Ozo. Before round two. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decision, decision. 
And the game's not over yet! This feels like an ending! Ow! Yo, Arvin here. Down boy, don't go, don't jump up like that. It seems like hearing your voice has old mobile stiff. Here all worked up ozone. Oh, but that's not why I called that. I nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to area zero? Yes. Of course you do. You n little know it all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldia had really helped. You make a name for yourself. Built up some goodwill. That's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should be have us ready to tackle anything. So now all we gotta do is get there. First step, we'll be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready, waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone too. Don't leave me hanging forever. We'll be waiting. This is it. To area zero. Wait, isn't area zero in the middle? This way. Take it, this is the way. Hey, over here. In the zero gate. It was made so researchers could try and observe that the inside of the great crater of Paldia. Inside the great crater of Paldia, what folks called Area Zero, it's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one that I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Meridon was born or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new team members should be wa teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. I'm assuming it's Penny and Nimona. The way home.
Oh, kind of dark in here. Hola, Ozone. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was in. She was here in a second. You're as annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Poking like a guy who wants to get beaten in battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark and worth the, the, the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Now the lights are on. But why? I turned them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system control and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Uh, I guess my name's Penny. Well, hey, we never actually got to talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kid of kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Uh, you talk like way too much. The director introduced us when you need someone good with tech. She's a no brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Ozone. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you Ozone and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My love includes my both stiff and cooking and biometric identification in progress. Hello, Ozone. I've been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Sorry, who are you? That's my dad, probably. What the uh, Professor Tudo? Nemona, student ID number 805C001. And Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, did you d tell your dad about us? When w would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down to into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator as you can see it to your right. Um, Dad? Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Okay, we can get on with this. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to the lower levels. Oh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. It looks like to me like someone controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be able to. You will be above area zero. Ozone, you have brought Muradon with you. Yes. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Murdon gliding capability, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach area zero. What, isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Murdon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get you in, t get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down there in area zero. Let's go. That girl, is she like incapable of fear or what? Guess we better go too. Wait. Aren't we going to need Muradon anyway? Why can't I get on it? Also, I'm ready for the worst? Yes. Good. That's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. 
Can he carry all of us? I mean, gravity's no joke. What's the matter with it? Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does the, that logic work? Get on. God, I would never do something like that. Why are there buildings? And now I'm back here again. I think I might have died once or twice there. What's wrong? It chose to go back into his ball. It's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's the student council girl? What, she's gone? You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see... Area Zero is amazing. Come on already. I guess your ability would be own temple, huh? Biometrics identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Uh, yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could have possibly complained about the landing like that? That is good. I had concern you might fail given the crudeness of only available access method. I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Hey, you were worried about us? That's so sweet. You should make now make your way to me at Zero Lab in the deepest parts of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks and thugs on the exterior which I cannot unlock. Four locks. On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. At each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do as, do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Hope? Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of the area zero. That's cool and all. I can't ride Muradon? All I can really do is walk then. So this is inside the great crater of Paldia Area Zero. Feel different from just seeing it in our textbook. It's so intense. Normally, we'd never be able to get in here to see it ourselves. Wait, where'd Murdon go? It seems like it got spooked by something hiding in its ball. And Sedio, that's not good. Can we even get back up to the surface without it? Uh, it should be alright. The last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through if you're in real sob story. Why didn't you just call the professor if, he, if he's down here? Dang, they're talking a lot. Gee, no need to bite my head off. What are you getting all huffy at anyway? Okay, come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's ha go have a good time. See, this would have been way better voice acted. I want that Pokeball. 
I'm assuming these are all high level. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that's right. It's a normal type. I always, for some reason, think it's a psychic type. That's right, I can't ride Muradon. I'm so not used to it. I have to walk, and I don't even have a bike in this game. Alright, so Penny, how did you wind up friends with Ozone anyway? Well, I guess he just really came through for me when I needed him. Everything went going off the rails, school was a mess, and my friendship w Man, so much talking! Whatever, I'm not gonna read all that That's too fast. I'm just here. Flare blitz. You know, this kind of thing would probably have been cool if they traveled with. If you can get companions that travel the entire way. I didn't think that would be dope. Kind of like this, but voice acted. Wait, did it leave me? Oh no, they're following me still. Don't like that's the first building. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish rations? Research stations. Hmm, well I was close. Not even a little. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. What the heck is that? That's Glimora, isn't it? A Glimora? It's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that PC could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Ozone, let's take it on together. Is there any need? I could probably handle it on my own. Can I catch it? No, it didn't give me the option. I forgot I had that ability. It never matters. I wanted to catch that. Are there gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. While well, patronizing much. Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Oh, they're indoors. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. 
The facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there is a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rent up if we need to. Ozone, if you would be so kind to disable the front lock on the lab using that central panel. Very well. Let's press the button and see what it does. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Okay, can we leave? Let's go get the other ones. I'm assuming this way? I almost never saw my dad in my whole life. Oh, is it time for backstory reveal? Penny, shh. He was always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, I cleaned for myself, and most both stiff was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know him at all, even if he's my dad. I tried not to think about it too much, tried to be proud of that he was famous and genius, but the truth is, I would have rather just had a dad who was even- Damn it, quit talking so much, man. I can't read it all. Screw it. What is that thing? It looks like they're becoming friends, kinda. Then plays it pretty open. Oh wait, right over here. Okay, that's pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. I like sliding down like that. Is another Pokemon going to be guarding it? The second research station, about time too. Should let's head inside and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Look, Delibird, it's good to see some nice familiar down here too. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That doesn't look like any Delibird I've ever seen. What the? Oh, it's in battle time. So I fight alongside Penny this time? I can't see what Penny's using. Oh, Embryon. Oh, it should still be an Ice type, I would imagine. It is not. It's called the Iron Bundle? Is that an evolution or is that just a different variation? Surely what was that darn thing scared me half to death? It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. It 
In we go. Well, it didn't look pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Uh, what's that book? Monster of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch a glimpse of Materia Pokemon. Though we wondered if the compact cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast, was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to a Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture, the way it moved, suggest it was biologically separate, to say nothing of its threads of iron. Monster of Area Zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Ozone? I think they really are just Pokemon. Yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves and battle just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come to, for an explanation. Professor. Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that live in distant days we have yet to see. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here. He actually got it working. Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost. Catastrophic. A time machine. You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for the, a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you. Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arv and I. I love how I'm just smiling behind him. If possible, I would like to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Ozone, can you use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab? Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research station. Hey, Ozone. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it got something to do with this place. More like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever this is. You are. I think you should be the one carrying. I got the Violet book. Take care of it for me, okay? Ozone. We will proceed. What's your parents like, Nimona? My parents normal, I guess. Wait, which way do we go now? I can't have time to read when I have to watch these Pokemon. I don't see the next building. I didn't realize the place went down so long. Maybe this way?
I like how advanced this is, but. I hope I'm going the right way. It's over here. That formation looks a little weird. An impish mint. I'm guessing through the water over here. I don't see the building over here. Wow, am I missing something? I can't find that building. Or is it just, maybe it's on this side. I got a hyper potion. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. I'd... Wait, what is that thing? I wonder if we could climb on the rocks. Still don't see the building though. Can we go in the water? I can't tell if I've come this way though. I don't think I have. A bit sharp over there, but don't know building. Can I? Nope, I still can't ride Maradon. I was hoping I'd be able to ride him. Wait. I don't know why I ran into that bit sharp. Oh wait, that way. Maybe it's that way. I can't tell if this is the way I came.
Oh, I ran into more Pokemon. No, I'm lost. So it's not this way. Did the map give me any more tips? Not really. Let's go that way. There it is. I think that's it. Hopefully that's not one I've already been to. The cave too. All right, another research station. Nice, we got get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again, 100% guaranteed. Oh, Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? See? See? Wait a sec. They didn't jump like the Titan Pokemon we saw. So it, had, it was a future Pokemon all along. Oh, you battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Ozone and I are like our old pros when it comes to Titan. Leave it to, to us. I wish I could catch this one. Iron threads. See that? Victory is ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching for out the Herba Mythica came out from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous. If we got things from the litter oh future roaming around Paldia, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Thoreau doing anything to keep them under control? How could he let this happen? Yeah, right, because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Thoreau ever messes up. Come on, Ozone, let's get into that research station. Well, at least I know which way to go after this. I have to be into that cave. And made it to a station number three. How are we doing after all the walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need to rest? Mm. You feel r rough, Penny? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Muradon? Isn't it pretty likely that it also one of the future Pokemon? You're right. I didn't even think about that actually. I think you're onto something, kind of giving off future vibes, even its name sounds futury. Wait a second, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin, you said add Muradon Ball, and y you told us about its form in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Uh, you still remember that from way back. No wonder you're everybody little superstar pupil. I guess I got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That per Pokemon Muradon, that is, it was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Professor. Muradon, which I entrusted to Ozone, was the first Pokemon that successfully retrieved that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. 
seriously. Though analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Psycholizar, the Pokemon commonly written in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Muradon. You mean there's another one around here somewhere? Wait, what if their family, the other one, could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be reunited with Muradon? A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly, imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Ozone. Please disable the neck lock using the central panel there. Okay, let's just do that. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue to the final research station. Very well. And I'm assuming through the cave. So Muradon's a future Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen one, seen it before. Ozone, you gotta let me battle Muradon right now. It still won't come out of its Pokeball. All oh, right. That wasn't the first I heard it coming from the future myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my dad brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a little while. My dad made me promise to keep it a secret and I had to take care of it him too. So that's why you know so much. And that the yeah, but the only one dad uh Okay. Look at the blue rocks, it's pretty dope. Why didn't the place look so weird? place is huge although I found the next building oh my guys look at these huge gorgeous crystals they all go all the way to the bottom what's with the crystals one slip and we can kiss our short-lived lives goodbye good call watch your step so the professor down there somewhere waiting for us and that's totally fine. Alright team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of the thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. Maybe it makes you feel like maybe you already died or went somewhere. Is it just me or do the crystal give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Gotta be some sort of connection. Only way, to, one, only one way to find out. Come on, everybody, let's keep moving. We gotta go all the way down. Let's see. Whoa! Hey, a gibble. Right now, I'm just trying to get to the bottom. I'll come back and explore on my own later. So, Murdon came to our age through the time machine. Then it lived here a while with the professor along with another one of its kind. That seems to be the story. So, we brought it back home, kind of, or it is second home at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it. Oh, that's great. A chance to unwind and back in the familiarity. It doesn't exactly jibe with how it's been acting off books since we got here. It really talk a lot. Come on.
There it is. What is that thing? Oh, that's in Delhi Bird. Or whatever that form is called. Is this a dun dun part? A gabite? Into the building! There was actually no Pokemon in there. Well, what happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. God, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? I'm sorry. 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 What? What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, child. Children. Children. Initiating restart. The person must be having some weird connection problem or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. If he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. Are the crystals interfering? Hello, can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interfering. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at least. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Okay, I won't question it, I'll just proceed. I wonder what that was. What is this thing? Some sort of plate inscribed with mysterious symbol. Okay. What are those little things? Come on. So all I'm doing is just heading all the way for the bottom. They make me think of the baby, I think it's called. Shadow Ball. It looks like that's it right there. We didn't have a battle in the last one, so there might be a battle on this one. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it, ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Yeah, right. That just fluff they write to fill the textbooks.
Hello children, you've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you in the Zero Lab. That where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed by a crystal? The crystal here in the area zero possesses a peculiar energy. The energy can alter the function of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is said same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building has been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implies something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not m many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to Area Zero should now open for you. To Zero Lab. Once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the, the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Sounds like a problem. With the four of you working together, you should be able to bet them. Prepare yourself, then open the gate. Open the gates? You got me, Ozone, here? It doesn't matter what we're up against. We'll be fine. Well, then, that'll put my worries to rest. Come on, let's do this. I want to see what Pokemon we're up against. Moment of truth. Hold it. What's up? Why? We're finally at the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if the truth that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Muradon to help? Yeah, if Muradon were like how he we first saw in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down here to Arizo. And it can't enter it battle if form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it. It ate all those herba mythica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And area zero where it used to live. If you bring it out of a ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Mm, I don't know. Go on, Ozone, let Muradon out. Okay. All right, come on, Ozone. Now that we got Muradon ready, it's time to open the gates. What's gonna come through? I'm really curious. Let it be something cool. Oh my goodness, there's another one. The family reunion is happening. Oh, no way. There really is two of them. No, something's not right. What's going on? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? That did not look like a heartwarming reunion. Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were that close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Murdon, poor thing terrified. Guess the other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, the other one giving off some real bad vibes. Not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be able to go toe to toe against that jerk. If you know, if you want to. Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that the other Muradon was the one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us up to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say that dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside? You mean from inside the gate we just... 
opened. What the? Oh, we are surrounded. There's no way we can handle this. Yes, we can. Don't tell me they're all future Pokemon. We got a little disaster on our hand here. Looks like even the fellow is ready to bail. And I guess my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Ozone. Let's do this together. So are we battling or what? It's fast. How did it outspeed me? Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Okay, why are they coming at me? Ozone, help me out. Is the Hydreigon one, Hydreigon one gonna be last? If they're all futuristic, are they all steel types now? No, they're not. It couldn't have been that easy. So they retain their typings? That's an electric type now. I don't know. It's hard to say. Iron hands. The future must be terrifying. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and if the Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hand. We gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Wait. Hold on, Nimona. Why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong looking one first. I would capture it if I could. Okay, is it because it's Dark Dragon? Maybe that was a mistake. Okay, that worked. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync, all thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared? You, you worried you might have to face that other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of that burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mobile Stiff can take them. Say, Alzone, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Got it. Glad to see you got some faith in us at last. Mobile Stiff can't wait to battle either. Murdon, you really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You got amazing power if you just use them, and you got us too. So, so don't e you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave and stand up and fight. So 
So are we gonna have to face the other s version of itself? Or its other self? It broke through. Human present detected within the zero lab. We finally met the professor face to face. Is he in a suit? Deactivating sleep mode. Is he a robot? Hello Ozone, thank you for coming. A master ball. Now back to your ball. That one in far left track, track the bull, and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Murdon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Tudo. Then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. He passed away? The Pokemon was not to blame. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for Murdon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Murdon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to the director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Ozone, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab. I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any question can be addressed as we make our descent follow me. Wait, are we going back in time? The elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Ozone, it truly really is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous, in gri grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that the fact may be difficult for his son Arvin to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is an AI really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by human beings. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memory to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by the mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not in fact possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystal that makes up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to add? What is the time, this time machine? The time machine is a device that original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokemon to different points on the timeline to catch Pokemon there and it can then draw them back to here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age what you might call the future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to the time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which po future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained strange power due to the adaptation in the distant future. And this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence could bring the destruction and ecological balance of the current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rent of Paldea. 
but we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break that barrier, such as Iron Thread. Eventually, they will break free from this wall, garden known as Area Zero, and run rampant across the region of Paldea. When they do, the rich, varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath this coming. I may not. I may have been created as a copy of the professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Ozone, you have become a formidable trainer. Now that you use that strength, you have gained to destroy the dream Turo one chair. Yes. I appreciate your willingness to help. It's kind of crazy that the professor died. We have reached the lowest level. What is this place? Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of terrestrial phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which had been embedded within the Violet book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. He loved the Valium since childhood. If you place the Violet book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the time machine, it will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desire can be overridden by the system programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an optical by my code. My, my battling ability are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by various champions of Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for the fight, please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. So here's the final battle. Very well. ID confirmed Professor Drogue accent granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait, please wait. Access denied. What? Shutdown command overridden, reinitializing. It's up to you now, Ozo. AI Tudor switching to sleep mode, activating offensive protocol. What is this? Please defeat me. At, at last. At last my dream is within reach. And you're number seven. Getting in the way. This is weird. Yeah, Turo has initiated a battle. Iron Moth. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in my the way of my goal. Okay, it's still a fire type. That was a mistake. Or is it a, what? I don't know what typing it is now. It isn't the power of the distant future hold blended, isn't it? No, this is interesting, child. Do you actually understand future Pokemon's weaknesses? Lucky guess. Iron Thorn.
Are they all in Master Balls? Oh. Is it a grass type now? No. Jeez. Although that looks so dope. <gasps> Shari! Do you imagine you can beat Beth the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Yeah, that is not happening, man. Uh, time to let Edna try. Iron bundle. I don't know what that is. I'll send in Thor. Oh. That might have been a good move. Yeah, Thor got this. And then the dragon one. I'll let Tinka take it out. It survived. Iron hands. Iron hands, hmm. I'll stick with, uh, Tinka. It missed, yes. Iron Valiant? I don't know what that is. Sending Toxie. Everything is proceeding within my expectation. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Oh! I wonder. I'm not actually sure. Oh jeez. Okay, that's super effective. Perfect. Yes!
impossible. What happened now? Ozone. What is this? Did you already beat the baddie without me? Okay, out with it. You. Who are you really? Thank you for everything. The time machine have finally, has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Look how big have you grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry you were alone so long, Arvin. Dad. Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Well, what's going on? It's another army of Pokemon that's on its way here? It cannot be. What's going on? You are number seven getting in the way. What is this? our Pokemon won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Uh. Uh. What exactly am I supposed to do? I can't. I can't do nothing. Run. Some crazy electrical signal is jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. That's totally cheating and you call yourself an adult? Dude, the robot. Play by their own rules. Wait. It's regained its form. If murder on an electric type?
It changed into its battle form. Let's go, Muradon. You got this. Electric Dragon. Okay. You will fall here with Garden Paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Oh my goodness, why is it so much stronger than mine? Maybe that was a mistake. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Optical, my goal will be eliminated to my goal. Will. They have different moves. Okay, that didn't help. Didn't look like it could be bad. Hang in there, Ozone. Should I use Endure? The data says I am superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my dream may be built. I'm glad that worked. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do. I gotta try doing that. Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey Ozone, your terror orb glowing. Ozone Murdon, terrestrialize and finish this off. Does it gain stat moves every time? Every turn pass? We win. You defeated the Paradigm Protection Protocol. You did it. It's not going berserk anymore. How? How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protection. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brinks of despair, you children did not give in and instead prove your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever path you choose for yourself now, with pride. I thank you, Ozone. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop as long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. What does that mean? I am sorry. You know what I was watching you all. On your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. The way you came together, working in the league with your fellow and caring for them. The way that you sought strength to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles. And the way that you would face down even the greatest enemy to save that which you love. The way that you never seemed to seek nor to fight a treasure all your own. And the way you soared free 
through the very skies of those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I tri might treasure, above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I have made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to a world of the future that I dreamed of. What you can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I cannot deny my desire to see the future world for myself. That what it feels like to have a heart race with the thrill of adventure. Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You, you, you can't. You can't just go and say things like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Arvin, Muradon, Ozone it is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Dad. It's kind of crazy. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. How could you just go, Dad? Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was a fake, but when it said my name, using its, his voice and wearing his face, even if it was a fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's, that's okay. I guess Murdon is sad too. Oh, but the battle form, how cool is that? So It's so strong. If I try to nudge at me for a belly rub while well, it's huge like that, I certainly think I'm gonna die. Hey, now let's not skip over the big win here. Ozone and Murdon just saved all of Paldia. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Ozone. Yeah, that's my butt for you. You know, Arvin, even though the professor is gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Ozon? Let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. So now, I think that's the end of the journey. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take a long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really. Sounds great. If we can load up some snacks first, I'm in. Also, not you too. Alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> 